Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video talking about 2023, and now that we're in the new year, I wanted to do a top 5 list talking about my most hyped TV shows to come out of this year. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today, this one's going to be doing another video for today, this one's going to be doing another top 5 list now that we are in 2023, figured we'd do this video talking about our top 5 most anticipated series to come out of 2023. So, these can be any show that we review on the channel, any show that's coming up, uh, we are going to do that for this video, talk about our most hyped shows to come out for this year, and uh, you know, talk about why and all that kind of stuff. So, of course, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below, what are your top 5 most hyped TV shows that you're going to be watching in 2023 would love to hear that in the comment section below and hell maybe I'll even get like some shows from you guys that you guys leave in the comment section below that I've never seen before maybe it'll even motivate me to actually check out some new shows so that's another reason for this video um you know, if you guys have any other TV shows you want me to check out, now is kind of a good time to, to let me know, right? So, anyway, um, let's get into this top five list. So, uh, there are a lot of TV shows coming out this year. If there's a show that you notice is not mentioned in this video, it's more than likely because either it's not officially announced to be coming out this year, or... Um, just anything of the sorts, uh, anything like that. But the ones that we are more than likely going to be seeing this year, the ones that we're more than likely watching, and ones that are already confirmed this year, we can definitely include in this list. So starting off with number five. Number five is going to be The Walking Dead, Dead City. Now, I almost didn't put this in a top five because it is a spinoff series after all. And you guys know with me with spinoff shows, it's very hit or miss. But, um... The more I keep seeing about this show and the more they keep releasing, the more I'm interested, the more I want to see this show. Now, this one's going to be coming out in April of this year, and basically it follows Negan and Maggie as they kind of go through a separate, like, solo mission or whatever through New York City um, a couple years after the events of The Walking Dead. So, this is definitely going to be an interesting show. I think the visual aspect of it is really what's making this one cool. Uh, in concept, I'm not sure where this is going to go yet and what the show is going to be like, and I mean, we know that they're already planning a season two, so this show is going to go on for a little while. But um, Dead City is definitely a show that I'm excited for. It's a show that I love, you know, obviously uh, seeing Negan in The Walking Dead. So I'm sure this is going to be something that, um, you know, is definitely going to strike my interest. And I don't know. I think so far it's got a cool idea to it. It's got a cool look to it. Um... And I'm going to put it at number five. Number four is going to be House of the Dragon Season 2. Now, this is one that I am very excited to see because, obviously, uh, Season 1 ended in a way that was just so incredible. Um, and, obviously, I won't spoil anything like that uh, for anybody that hasn't watched it. But House of the Dragon is easily a show that I, I really, really enjoy. I mean, I really love the show so far. It's one of them shows that very much adapts the Game of Thrones world very well. I was kind of nervous at first for House of the Dragon because I wasn't sure if it was going to live up to the Game of Thrones name. Uh, but I will say, at least after the first season, they're definitely really, um, they're, they're doing a good job with it so far. And I think if it's any indication on what season two is going to bring, then, you know, absolutely, that's going to be amazing. And that's part of the reason why this is number four is because I'm so excited after what we just experienced with season one that I'm wondering how much crazier this show is going to get. Like, how much much further are we going to get in terms of, you know, the story and what are we going to get? You know, I don't know. It's, it's one of my most like intriguing shows right now, uh, to watch. And I think it's, um, I think it was one of the best shows to come out of 2022, to be honest. So definitely hype for 2023 is for uh, House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones uh, prequel series. Number three is going to be The Boys Season 4. So this season we know uh, for sure we're going to be getting this one this year. They've been filming most of the way through 2022, and they usually always release a season every year. So we're definitely going to be getting this one this year. And Season 3 of The Boys, man, I mean, it was a very entertaining season. It was a very, very entertaining season. Uh, they brought in Soldier Boy, which was played by the amazing Jen, uh, Jensen Ackles, and there was so much in that season that was so good. I mean, you had, you know, Homelander, and you had the, the fight with Butcher back and forth, and, you know, you had a lot of really, really awesome stuff throughout that whole season. You know, even Butcher and the rest, they actually got, like, uh, superpowers or whatever for a little while there, too, you know? It was a really, really good season. I think season four, if it's any indication of what's to come, uh, it's, it's going to be incredible, you know? I mean, The Boys is probably the most outrageous, insane, gory, insane, screwed-up TV show I think I've ever watched. Uh, even that over, like, 
like Game of Thrones and everything like that. Like it honestly makes Game of Thrones look pretty freaking normal. Uh, the Boys is the most outrageous TV show I've ever watched, and honestly, it's so much fun. Uh, the characters are all so incredible, and um. I can't wait to see what's in store for season four. Uh, number two is going to be The Last of Us. Now, yeah, The Last of Us does have the number two spot right now. That is very, very generous for a TV show that hasn't even released yet. But that's how much I enjoy the game of The Last of Us 1. Uh, the Last of Us 1, seeing what they're going to do right here in just a couple weeks. Uh, literally, it comes out January 15th. Um, seeing what they're going to do with The Last of Us and seeing how they're going to adapt the story is something that's so exciting to me. Uh, getting to see Joel on a TV. TV show, getting to see Ellie on a TV show, and getting to see how they do it, and it, it doesn't look like they're cheaping out, it doesn't look like it's going to be one of those things like, you know, the Resident Evil this past year, where they adapt a game, and it's absolutely horrible, you know, like, this seems like something that they're really putting their heart and soul into, and I think for that, it really earns my, um, my hype and my anticipation as a fan of the game, and I, I think it's going to be really good, uh, at least I have a lot of faith that it's going to be really, really good. And number one, my all-time most hyped TV show of 2023, without a doubt, is going to be The Walking Dead, Rick and Michonne. Now, this show does not have a name yet, uh, this show does not have a title, but I will say one thing right now, um... I have never been more excited for a TV show in all my life. To get to see Rick Grimes again, to get to see Michonne again from The Walking Dead, Rick Grimes being my favorite entertainment character ever created, uh, this has to be number one. I mean, it has to be number one. Getting to see him again, I never even thought that we were ever going to see him again at a time. Like, I thought, like, that was going to be it. And, you know, they're giving us six episodes of this character. They're giving us six episodes to wrap up his story. The wrap-up of Rick Grimes, I mean, what can be more hyped than that? Like, seriously... That is um, easily the most hyped TV show. I am scared that we're not going to get more than one season, but I think that's what really just builds the anticipation for it to be no my number one this year is because it's the only season. Like, it might be the only season of this show. So for that, it's definitely my most hyped because it's a limited time thing, you know? So... Definitely going to be one of uh, one of the best shows probably ever. You know, if they play their cards right, it definitely could be. So, anyway... If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for The Walking Dead. And of course, make sure to follow me on Dan's Reviews Official on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.